Mike Brown. All right, I'm gonna jump right in. Black people, I got white friends. Right. And they good friends. One of them was actually offering to help me with my truck when I had to fix it for $15,000. It's a good friend, I love my friend. Another friend invited me down to the, his crib, put me up, I didn't have to worry about a damn thing. Made sure I had somewhere to stay at, made sure I got drunk. Even made me his best man good friends. When something like that happen, the first thing that a lot of us do is, we go right to a social network and say, fuck these crackers. They don't do that. It's very disrespectful. What if you had a white friend and a black officer killed a white boy and they felt like that and they go on there and post shit saying, fuck all these niggas. Would that be wrong? So let's jump straight into it. It shouldn't be what about black and white. It should be about people taking responsibility for their actions and superior officers and people in politics to make sure that these officers are accountable for the things that they're doing. Now, prime example, I'm a truck driver. So I'm going to use that as an example. If a civilian, somebody without a CDL, check into this, gets tested for alcohol and he blows a 0 .6, a 0 0.06, I'm sorry, he's not going to jail. Nothing happens. He's under the legal limit. Good job. If I blow by me having a CDL a 0 0.06, I go to jail and I lose my license because I'm gonna get charged with a DUI. Don't believe me? Look that shit up. The point is, is that they make truck drivers accountable for everything. We gotta do a 15 minute inspection on our truck every day. And if anything breaks and we hit somebody and kill them, we're going to jail for manslaughter. Look it up, all true. How the fuck is it that a police officer can shoot somebody that's not armed and get off? That's zero accountability. And it actually sends a message. Not about black or white. It sends a message that I could do what the fuck I want to do and get away with it. As a truck driver, I'm appalled. Because why the fuck is it that I'm held accountable for everything and police officers are not? My white friends are my white friends. And they still gonna be my white friends. Fuck white friends. My friends, period. And I love my friends. All of them. Stop saying dumb, racist shit. Gets us nowhere. Shit's stupid. Make this square. It's a good ass square. Should taste like cabbage. It gets us nowhere as a whole. Because the same people you calling crackers is gonna be the same people. No disrespect to my people, man. I love y'all. But the same people you disrespected gonna be the same people that's standing on the side of your ass holding a protest sign. What needs to happen is black people and white people need to pay attention to these laws. Motherfuckers not being held accountable. And fuck protesting in Ferguson. Go to the Justice Department. Go to the people who are making these laws. Go sit outside the lieutenant's house, the major's house, the sergeant's house, and make sure that motherfucker don't get no rest because he's the person who told that guy to write up the report the way he needs to write it up to justify what he done. Those are the people who are at fault. And it goes all the way up the ladder. High profile case. At the end of the day, I say that to say this. Don't disrespect your friends, man. Don't disrespect the people that look out for you. Because my friends of all colors look out for me. I don't give a fuck what happened on the outside of that city. Long as they still show me love and I show them love, we'll continue to be friends. I don't give a fuck what color they are.
pay up to the police.